What's up, y'all? This your girl, Star Jack Craziness, and I'm coming to you, you, and you with another word on the street with Star. So let's go ahead and get into it. So, rumors been having that Keisha Cole and her, I thought it was her ex husband, but I guess she didn't get divorced to him. Her husband, Daniel, aka Booby Gibson, they supposed to, the, well, they were supposed to be joining the cast of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. But Keisha like, uh, no, it's not going to happen. Definitely not on my end. I ain't trying to do that. And you should know, when you go on Love and Hip Hop, I mean, you scraping from the bottom, for real. Because that show is wretched as hell. I mean, we all know what Love and Hip Hop brings to the table, okay? But hey, if you you know, if you want to start there and work your way up, it, it's, what's, it's your prerogative, like Bobby Brown say. So... She won the Breakfast Club. She talked about a lot more stuff, but we're just going to talk about this particular thing since that's what's popping right now. But it says, during her interview with the Breakfast Club, Keisha revealed that Mona Scott Young reached out to her a few times to try and make this happen. Mona Scott reached out to me a few times and reached out to Remy Ma and reached out to my management and was just asking if i would be willing to do it and i was just like i think it's a great platform for artists you know if you do it right i wouldn't want to be in all that crazy stuff so back in february 2016 it was first rumored that daniel joined the love and hip-hop hollywood franchise for season three and that she will be appearing with him clearly that never happened Despite having some interest over the years, the network just couldn't get the numbers right. I bet they couldn't. They didn't want to fork off them big old dollars. That's basically what that was. Mona wanted to keep that money out of herself, but we already know. We shot some numbers around, and I told her what it would take for a chick like me to be on the show, and she should. Oh, and she said she would get back to me and try to get them numbers right. But obviously, the numbers were too high for her standard. I mean, I added a little something, something. But when asked if she was seeking one meal to film the show, I think Angela Lee said that, you know, it was rumored that she was asking for one meal. She was like, uh, no. It was a little more than that. Try over one meal. Now, she doesn't want to do Love & Hip Hop at all. You know... What well, after all that stuff got thrown out, I just didn't like the energy of all of it. So I just said, no, nah, I'm cool. I'm all right. And that's what you should have did. Bow out gracefully because once you get on that show, shit just go left. I'm telling you, it goes left. For some people, it worked because they don't put all their business out on there. But then, hell, it is what it is. But y'all tell me what y'all think about um keisha cole and did she make the right decision or she need to get back on the bandwagon with the love and hip-hop franchise see you later bye